game week, right? Finally. You've been, I mean, you signed here, you've gone through all the stuff, but is, does this you feel more like a chief this week because it's like actually an NFL regular season? Game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really settled in at this point. Um, shoot, man, I'm bleeding red and gold, so I can't wait to get out on the field, man. We, um, we've been building towards this. I think training camp's been tremendous for us to come together as a team, build chemistry, especially with all the new faces, including myself. And uh, now it's time to write our story. You had, you had a chance to play against uh, Kyler Murray last year in that offense. What do you remember about it? Yeah, um, what I remember the most is the unscripted plays. And by that, I mean him extending plays, extending drives by just scrambling around. Um, and not only the difficulty of just tackling, tackling him, but also some of the problems we ran into in that game was um, since he is a little bit shorter, like our defensive linemen were tackling high and they were you know, getting flags all over the place for it. So um, it's not just getting them down, but making sure you're getting them down um, in a way that's legal to the game so that way you don't just get automatic first down. Coach Staggs was talking about it's kind of you have to corral him a little bit because you just can't run full speed at him. Is that, is that about right? Is that the way to do it? Is yeah, you yeah. You can't run in there just trying to um, throw a haymaker in there. You know, the guy is extremely quick. That won't really do um, anybody any good on our side of the ball. So sticking to the fundamentals, making sure you're bending your knees, taking proper angles, having good leverage, um, put all those pieces into play, we should be fine. Besides being mobile, he can also throw the ball too, right? Like what is what kind of, I guess, uh, uh, is, is there any, like, uh, when you're going up against him, is there any, um, or, or, or you, you you're, you're basically like, um, I'm sorry. I kind of get where you're coming from, but I, I'll answer the question I think you're asking. You know what I mean? Um, I think he's a much more dangerous passer outside of the pocket than he is inside of the pocket. You know, inside of the pocket, they'll still occasionally take their shots. Um, a lot of times, though, it can really be a 50-50 ball. Those are opportunities for turnovers. But when he gets out of the pocket and those clear lines of visions downfield and he really starts throwing instead of a floating ball, a more line drive ball to hit his target because, you know, being a former baseball player, he can really sling it um, down the field. That's really where it's most dangerous. So that's what it comes back to, corralling them, keeping them inside of the pocket, making them throw from there. Um, will make our job on the back end um, a little bit more effective. What specific things have you seen this week tells you that even though this is a new defense, young players, new, new faces, that they're ready to, to go to Arizona and, and get it done? Yeah, um, well, preseason was encouraging on the 12 plays that the defense and the offense had got. Um, but that is preseason. Now we get to play, um, you know, some real NFL football where everybody's a starter. So, um, I'm encouraged by what I've seen in, pra in practice. I'm encouraged by what all the work that's been put in so far. Um, we got everything that we need right here on this team um, to go to distance. So it's about putting that into effect and not just saying it, but going out and doing it on Sunday. I just complimented your preparation on and off the field in the meeting rooms and with other guys and so on and so forth. That <clears throat> when, with your leadership style, is leading by example in that sense important to you? Yeah. Um, as I said earlier when I first came in, I just want to be the biggest resources I can for all the guys that come along because we're only going to go as far as um, we, we come together to go. You know what I mean? It doesn't just matter how well I do or how well Chris does or how well Pat does. It's how well does the team do. You know what I mean? Because no one man is going to win the game. We have to come together as a unit and all play cohesively, play complimentary football, and go out and execute. So if I can help those guys, give them tips, reminders, um, be a veteran in the room, um, just like veterans were for me when I was a rookie, I try and pass that along. Both Chris, Jones, both Chris Jones and uh, Spagnuolo talk about the identity of the defense. What do you want the identity to be? Um, I want every week when the opposing offense turns on our film, I want them to know that they're going to get punched in the mouth. You know, I want it to be physical. I want it to be aggressive. I want there to have an attitude and an edge to the way that we play. Um, and I want those plays to be explosive on our side of the ball. What's the difference in the week one versus other weeks in, in your experience in the NFL? Well, week one is a lot more about fundamentals. It's about knowing your defense, knowing your assignments, um, not letting the light shine too bright or, you know, be so excited to make a play that you get out of character, out of the scope of the scheme. Um, because although we do have an idea of what type of team they are, it's week one. Um, there's no doubt that they've installed some plays that haven't been put on tape yet. Um, so it's about us staying true to our rules and being prepared for that and also being prepared to make halftime adjustments because halftime adjustments are going to come into play 
big time week one, week two, um, when there is no film on the Cardinals out right now. As the season goes on, more film is out there. You start to learn the identity of the team, um, who they are. And we just go out and execute. This is your first year here, so you haven't played, you know, like last year with Nick Bolton when he was a rookie, but he's got more responsibility this year. He's got the sticker and the, the, yeah. the microphone mm -hmm. and the helmet. Coach Spence is talking about how he has no concerns about him being able to cipher through all the calls and make the right things. What have your impressions been of him as a I young player? Absolutely, I've said I got absolutely zero concerns about him mentally handling the challenge of the playbook. Nick is one of the smartest linebackers I've ever played with. You know what I mean? Young guy, old guy, it doesn't matter. I mean, he's he's on his ones and twos daily, and he helps and he helps run the show on the back end. And it's comforting having a guy that is so confident in making all those calls. Jennifer, what do you think about nine rookies on this team and a number of them on defense? Um, you know, it's kind of a neat thing to see that kind of excitement and young energy. But what do you think about a team that, you know, has all this young talent? Yeah. Um, why not go be special? You know, those guys come here for a reason. Um, like I said, our scouting team did a, part, a great job finding them, the way that they've come in and been integrated into the system. They've all done well up to this point, and I know that they're excited to go out and go hunting um, this Sunday. <laughs> Justin, how much have you visualized, because I know you're so excited about playing in the uniform for the first time under the lights, but how much have you visualized the first play, the first highlight for you with this team, with this group of guys? You know what? I have a mentality about not trying to force plays, because if you consistently put yourself in the right position by doing your job and executing, having good technique, good eyes, um, the defense is naturally going to put you in a position to make plays. And if you just follow that mantra, um, you're going to and make the plays coming to you. You can be all pro. You can be a pro bowler. You know what I mean? Just don't miss the layups when they happen. Um, but consistency, consistency is the biggest part. Justin, the, uh, the Cardinals are not going to have DeAndre Hopkins this week. But from your point of view, when you break down this film of this team, even from last year, how dynamic is this offense even without DeAndre? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really going to come down to the unscripted plays. I mean, the game plan that they run there, they like to throw the ball 100 times. They're going to sprinkle the ball in with James Conner on the run game. Um, Rondell Moore is kind of their catch-all back. He's going to be in the backfield, line him up all over the place, throwing screens to him. Um, but at the end of the day, those aren't really the plays that are threatening. The biggest threats is the unscripted plays when he's running around the pocket and you know just starts throwing the ball 50, 60 yards downfield. Those are the plays that we need to take away. And if we do that, we're going to be successful.